हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज तरुण एंड टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी डूइंग कॉन्टूर इंटीग्रल दिस इज अ पोर्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस ओके सो कॉन्टूर इंटीग्रल फर्स्ट बिफोर स्टडिंग कॉन्टूर इंटीग्रल वी विल टेक अ लुक अबाउट द लाइन इंटीग्रल ओके एज यू कैन सी ओवर दियर देर इज ए कॉर्डिनेट एक्सिस एक्स एक्सिस एंड वाई एक्सिस एंड देर इज ए कर् स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट पी नॉट एंड इज गोइंग अप टू द पॉइंट पी एन एंड देर वेरियस पॉइंट प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस कर्व so if this point p node that is the starting point and the last point that is pn if both these points are different or you can say these are not alike then i will say that this this is a line integral if this point p node and this point pn both are same over time saying that both are same means if this point is this is a starting point if i'm uh, starting from this point and i'm going from there to there and i'm coming back to this point then only these two points these two value will be equal so the, it means there will be a circular it will be a circular fraction okay so it means uh, in contour contour integral there will be a circle or you can say that is there will be a closed path there is no circle circle means circle is a closed thing but it is not mandatory that it will be in a circular fashion it can be in any any other fashion starting from it's it can be a triangle starting from this point it can vary from this point it i means the point should be closed okay so it means contour integral so we will understand this from a question conjugate of z square into dz the limits are from 0 to 2i we have to integrate it with respect to dz along the two path number 1 the real axis to 2 and then vertically vertically to 2 plus i and in the portion b along the line that is 2i plus then uh, 2i equals to x now along with the line you can say that uh, real axis to 2 that is uh, first we will make graph that is the origin okay that is the origin point so we have to move from 0 to 2 and then vertically from 0 to 2 plus i that is only one distance in vert one dist one distance in y axis and two distance in x axis so we have to integrate in this portion into two portion that is 0 to a and then from a to p so along oa the value of y will be 0 because it is lying on the x axis So the value of y will be zero. When y is zero, then dy is also zero. When dy is zero, then dz is also equals to dx only because dy is eliminated. So this dz is replaced by dx, and z conjugate square will be replaced by z conjugate will be x minus iota y, and the square of this will become just do the squaring. You get x square minus y square minus two xy into iota. You get this. This is i square. I square is minus one. So you get y terms are zero, so you're left with only x term. When you put x square into dx, the integration of x square is x cube by three. Just put the limits, you get eight by three. Now in the second portion, that is AP, along AP, that is this portion from uh, zero, y, y is varying from zero to one. The y is varying from zero to one, and uh, along with this line, because it's a line that is parallel to y axis, any line which is parallel to y axis is x equals to a constant where what is the constant here x equals to 2 that is the line x equals to 2 this is a line x equals to 2 which is parallel to y axis when the line is parallel to y axis or you can say the constant that is x value where x is a constant then the derivative of x will be 0 because the constant derivative always leads to 0 so dx equals to 2 then d, uh, x equals to 2 then dx will be 0 then dz will be I into dy because dx is eliminated. So put uh, dz equals to i dy in the integration portion. That is dy, and I have taken this i outside. Now put this uh, function that is in terms of y only because x we have replaced by x equals to two. Okay. After doing some simple calculation and integration, you get this eleven by three into i over plus two. So this i that is the final integration will become the integration along the line you can say OA plus along the line AP. After doing the you can say summation, you get uh, your answer that is 14 by 3 plus 11 by 3 into iota. Next, this portion I have not done. You have to done with yourself if you comfortable. If you don't, then put this. Doubt in uh, comment box section. I will reply soon. Next question. Evaluate z conjugate 
dz uh, with respect to dz the limits are from 0 to 4 plus 2 i i along with the z equals to t square plus i t if z equals to this then dz will be the differentiation of this i have uh, done the differentiation of this okay now z bar we know z is this z bar will be just replace this plus by minus this we have calculated dt just put the dt okay after that dt you have put just do the simple multiplication you get this dt as it is now limits is can the simple the kya cheez hai what the simple thing is in this type of question is that you have to you can say that uh, uh, replace this function and replace the limits just put the limits get your answer after doing simple integration okay so d, z, uh, d bar you can say d conjugate sorry z, z conjugate is this one <coughs> dz is this one just do the multiplication get this function now limits z equals to 4 plus 2 iota z is nothing it is t square plus i t which is equals to 4 plus 2 iota now just compare the coefficients you find z equals to 2 uh, sorry t equals to 2 when you put the limits from 0 to 2 and after doing this integration you get you this is your answer very simple question next evaluate z minus z square into dz where c that is the c that is contour integration that is closed path where c is the upper half of the circle that is mod z equals to 1 what is the value of this integral if c is the lower half of the above okay so this is a so you can say that uh, coordinate axis and this is a circle of radius 1 unit okay this is a circle of radius 1 unit then this, this point will be plus 1 and this point will be minus 1 okay so angles the uh, angles measurement is done from this in in this way in anti clockwise fashion okay in anti clockwise that is in anti clockwise angles are measured that is from 0 to or you can say 0 that is pi by 2 that is pi in this fashion angles are measured in anti clockwise fashion okay so limits will vary from 1 to minus 1 in the upper half that is i am taking upper half that is upper portion up double up well, upper up upper okay upper half the limits varying from this plus 1 to 1 1 to minus 1 the limits are varying from 1 to minus 1 okay do not take from left to right in in, in angle form in angular form the angles is in the positive you can say that uh, angle should be positive and the values is varying from 1 to minus 1 that is 1 to minus 1 the limits are varying from 1 to minus 1 now z is and uh, z, min z minus z square into dz so and uh, z that is in upper half in and we have to take anti clockwise fashion that is 1 to minus 1 so i have changed the limits so i change the sign of integration that is minus when i take minus common it becomes z square minus z after doing the integration get your answer that is 2 by 3 when i take uh, the lower half that is lower half that is the lower half in this form but then we have to carry the anti clockwise fashion that is the limits varying from minus 1 to 1 when i take the limits minus 1 to 1 then i get a reciprocal of that that is with a minus sign that is minus 2 by 3 okay next and last question x square minus i y into dz the integration are from 0 to sorry limits are from 0 to 1 plus i along with the line y is equals to x square it is similar question that we have seen in the previous slides that is this uh, along with line that is equals to 2y equals to x square here the line is given and here the parabola is given okay so when you take this limit that is uh, 1 plus i that is nothing it is just a uh, simple line okay i think i have made a, I, I made it wrong isn't it this is x plus y x plus y line is will be plotted like this and uh, you can see that uh, parabola will be play uh, you can see that uh, plotted like this no 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 this is turn this is this is right this is right why because this limit is 1 plus 1 this is not x plus y that is that means this is one coordinate to uh, one to the one distance to the x axis and one distance to the one distance to the y axis that is imaginary axis so this will be there we have done right so this is the parabola okay this is the parabola okay so this is x square and y is x square so we have the co 
अब इस क्वेश्चन के अंदर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू एलिमिनेट दिस वाई वाई वी कैन एलिमिनेट बाय एक्स स्क्वायर दैन डी वाई विल बिकम टू एक्स इंटू डी एक्स सो वी हैव रिप्लेस दिस फंक्शन दैट इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस आई वाई इंटू डी जेड वी हैव रिप्लेस दिस फंक्शन बाय दिस फंक्शन ओके न द लिमिट्स वी हैव टेकन दिस फंक्शन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स सो वी सो वी विल बी कंसिडरिंग द वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो टू एक्स एक्सिस ओरिजिन टू एक्स एक्सिस so the origin to x axis the limits are 0 to 1 why i have taken this point as if you can say that uh, 0 to 1 because when you calculate the point of intersection between these two you get the point is 1 that's why i have taken this value from 0 to 1 that point of intersection is 1 okay when you take the integration 0 to 1 after doing the simple integration you get your answer and put the limits also then you get your answer then you get, then you will get your answer this will be your answer Okay so that's all in this lecture and uh, thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe if you want to get the information regarding new lectures directly into your email account if you really like this video please click on the like button and thank you for watching this